Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of the Wildlife Podcast. And I'm your host, Rico Pickett, man. And first of all, I want to thank all the subscribers, everybody who liked, shared, commented. Please keep doing it. If you ain't hit that button yet, hit it, man. Second of all, I want to thank my, my partner, my big bro, Major Strong. That's Major Podcast for helping making all this possible. Today, man, we got a special guest. I got a personal friend, a young bull, uh, somebody I watched from that grew. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pause from the beginning to the end, right? Yeah, for real, though. Yeah, for real, yeah, though. For real. I did. And uh, watching you on the sidelines at the gym, bro, while we was hooping running games, I remember seeing you on the sideline like no cap, bro. I do. Um, a Decatur native. Uh, a hometown hero, um, a Decatur legend. I ain't gonna cap, bro. A Decatur legend, Austin high graduate, and possibly the best player to ever play at Austin. We're gonna get into that too, pause. <laughs> my brother Javen Johnson. Thank you, brother. Hey, I forgot too. My bad. I tripped, bro. I ain't gonna disrespect. And the starting guard for the Warriors, the Golden State Warriors, G League team, Santa Cruz Warriors, man. Hey, My man. guy, man. Yeah, bro. Much love, bro. Man. I appreciate yeah, no you doubt. Me on this shit, man. No real doubt. Time. I appreciate you, bro. Like, for real, how you been, first of all? How you been? Man, I've been good, man. Just grinding, you know, taking this shit day by day. Right. You know, trying to get better and better. Right, right. You got to. Uh, and you a gym right too. I stay in there. I just left from there. I, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I like it, though. Because you got to. First, before we even get into anything, bro, talk about that, man. Like being a gym rat, how did that help you? How did that do you feel like it was more of your talent or your talent plus your work ethic? I think for me personally, it was just working. You yeah. Know what I'm I seen I had the talent early. Right. But you know, people didn't really start seeing it, seeing it like that till I got to college. I kind of seen it in myself. I always knew I was nice. Yeah, you know? of course. So I, yeah, you I a Decatur nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of you know course. That, you know, that's how we is. Yeah, like, we yeah, the yeah, nicest. Everybody, yeah. think they the, everybody think they the truth. Facts. You, know, you go to the Facts. gym and everybody ice are on. He true. don't even play for the team, but he yeah. think he the truth. <laughs> he think yeah, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. So, yeah, I mean, I think for me personally, it was just, it was just work, bro. For yeah. real, for real. Like, yeah. I took I took every every summer series just trying to get better and – uh. Running my own race, I ain't really look at too too many other people. What Facts. they got going on? Facts. I was just trying to get better. Facts. Mm -hmm. I'm with that, bro. I'm with that. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit. You the you the cater born and raised. Uh huh. For sure, you definitely the cater. Yeah. Uh, so talk about it's like okay, when did basketball come into your life? Was it five, six, seven years old? When was it? What what, what was it? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was. Like on all old baby pictures and everything, I always had like a ball around me. So mm -hmm. I always been around basketball. I ain't right. started like playing serious, serious to I was like maybe six or seven. I started opening at the carry. Yeah, the carry, yeah, legendary. <laughs> Y'all wrong for no tearing cap. it down too. No cap. Yeah, man. man. Come on, man. Bring the carry back, bro. Yeah, the real yeah. was hooping at the carry, not the dome, not the that TC, not nah, like the it, carry. If you, you know can, if you can hoop in the carry, you can, you can hoop anywhere. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. Hoop it's, sessions too, like the carry hoop yeah, session that's was a fact. Yeah, that I remember, was hectic. I remember coming up like seeing y'all and everything. Yeah, you know? like brother, the sessions was hectic at the carry, and it was personal. No spacing. Yeah, no, 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 no space. space. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all bag. What you? Yeah, it's how good bad. are you? Yeah, good that's too. a fact. That's a fact. Get to it. So, elementary school. So, what you play? You play rec league. Yeah, y'all play rec league. Y'all played football and basketball growing up. No, you played football. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And so I stopped playing football. I think with my seventh grade year. After that, I was like, nah, it ain't for me no more. It ain't. I started getting tall, too. Yup. And I was like, nah, I just need to just focus on basketball. On basketball. Your pop's tall, too, though. Yeah, he about 6'1". Yeah. Well, I mean, but I'm saying he more than a little bit more than average height. Yeah. But hey. at the same time, you, your lineage, you a Johnson. Cortland, let's talk about Cortland for a second, bro. <laughs> Cortland. Uh, I think, personally... Y'all produce, and I say y'all because you still part of that, bro. Even yeah. though you're from the cater, that's still your people. That still produce the most athletes. And at that time, Ronnie Johnson is who to you? Yeah, that's my granddad. That's your granddaddy. And yeah. I ain't mean at the time. I mean, like, who is that to you? Ronnie Johnson. A legend, bro. <laughs> Was coming down here winning summer league. 
DYS at the Aquanome Championships every summer, bro. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, like literally. Shout out to Pierre, RIP to uh, that was Bubba, right? Uh huh. Yeah, RIP to Bubba. Uh, couple of y'all, like, but but just saying, like, um, how often did you go back to Cortland? Like, you growing up, like, how often was it detrimental to your life? Like, how was you? We know you was in Decatur, but yeah, was you going to the country like every week, once a week type? Yeah, we like, go to Cortland Town Creek. Maybe like two or three times a month. Right. Like growing, growing up, I always remember going down there. Uh, gotcha. All my people was down there. <clears throat> Eventually, people started like migrating towards the deck. So like, yep. you know, a lot of folks weren't really like even now ain't really be down there like that for real, for right. real no more. So, I mean, this is, I still got some people down there, but I don't really, I don't go down there for real no more. You know? Yeah, yeah. It ain't, yeah, it ain't, it ain't really ain't no nothing, point. It ain't nothing. Down Everybody there. up this way. Yeah, it ain't nothing down there. I'm with really? it. I'm but it's with a lot it. of legends that came out of Corlin though. Oh, that's a fact. Like, a lot of legends. Like, man, shout know. out to Bibbs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Bibbs, bro. Out Bibbs, shout out to him. <laughs> Please okay. don't you ever get it twisted, bro. Bibbs. Yeah. He was he was our um first two five six AI. Uh huh. He was no AI, cap. bro. No like, cap. Kidding. At that time. At that time, he yeah. was coming down here to the carry. Killing. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Betting, betting niggas a thousand dollars one on one. Yeah, them real stories. <laughs> hey, 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 Bills. I'm sorry. I was out of town when you called for me. I'm sorry. My bad. I would have played you. Even though I was in the tenth grade, I respect it, bro. But no, like so. Moving on, middle school. Let's get to middle school. Mm -hmm. You went to where? Brookhaven. Yeah, I went to Brookhaven my first two years. Shout out to the Haven, man. Shout like, out to that. <laughs> and they the tour Brookhaven now, too. They just really tearing everything down in the dick right now. It's crazy. The dome about to go, too. That what they saying? Dome about to go. Man, I, I heard TC they saying that the gyms ain't even open like that no more. They don't want us there. They just can't get in the gym no more. They don't want us there. TC Allman, they about to close that down or tear that down for a hotel for the, uh, you know, the water park. Uh, yeah, so I know you ain't been here. I'm just they yeah. taking everything. They is, bro. But what? So you was you was at the tail end of Brookhaven. Yeah, I was like last. No, nah, what Brookhaven went ended what about a couple years ago. Brookhaven, you it's been gone. Well, for nah, me. that's true. That's true. Yeah. When you graduated high school, is when Brookhaven. I was, yeah, I was like the was last. Ending. I was the last of the old Austin. Now they moved to the new. The to new, the new, right, right, yeah, right, new, right. I was the last of that. So how was your seventh grade? How was you as a player? Oh, I, I was nice. I had like a, a little long crossover. That was like my signature. I, I used to get to that. You know, that was. <laughs> it still is. Was, what are you talking about right now? Still is. I had Jace with me. Uh, right. Couple, couple, man, we, we were solid. For real, for real. At Brookhaven, uh, it was just bad. Like, it was just no structure. Brookhaven is always and have always been the worst middle school indicator. You feel me? No yeah. structure. It's no like structure. Most every day. But the best sports. Yeah, for sure. Best Easy. sports. I give y'all that. Easy. Easy. I, I give you that. So how did you get to see the Ridge? My mom moved. I was standing in the lake. And then uh, we moved to uh, Moton Heights. And so I, I started going to see the Ridge. District that. changed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm already knowing. Yep. See, it's the same way with me. I went to Old Park for two years, sixth and seventh grade. Uh -huh. Then eighth grade, um, the city had paid my moms to tear our house down where uh -huh. we was at on Somerville Road. Yeah. To build that. I don't know. I know you know you didn't been by there. The uh, medical clinic right there in the middle. I know. As soon as you about. passed the hospital right there, that was our crib. Damn. Yeah. So the city paid us to move. So we moved to Dumbarton right behind Cedar Ridge. You know about Dumbarton. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You feel me? So, yeah. long story short, that's when I moved to eighth grade to see the Ridge. So, me and you kind of got a similar yeah. story. So, okay. Who was Boom. the coach there back then? Barnett? Barnett! Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Barnett, my God! Oh, my God man. The AD. The AD right now, Barnett, my God. He gonna let you play how you wanna play. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> he gonna let you he play gonna, how you wanna play. He ain't gonna restrict you. Yeah, he ain't gonna restrict you, know, you at all. Like, you know, T-No. <laughs> Jay know, a couple yeah. of us know. Everybody that went through the through, uh, City Ridge. Everybody that, bro. <laughs> everybody, City Ridge is lit. Man, what? You I gonna see count. a lot of different stuff in Cedar Ridge. That's a fact. Yeah. You gonna Every see cave a lot of and stuff. It was trenched out. I went to Cedar Ridge. I it felt was like, trenched out. I felt like was. I, you know, <laughs> I felt like I leveled up as I went to Cedar Ridge. <laughs> It was churched out. Man. That's a fact. Shout out yeah. to Brookhaven, man. Oh, yeah. Brookhaven. 
I cried because I couldn't go to Brookhaven in sixth grade. For real? In fifth grade class, it was me, Travis Cunn, and G. Reedus. In the same fifth grade class, bro. Y'all were loaded. We was loaded. They That's couldn't hectic. fuck with us. That's hectic. G went to Old Park. They called me out last. Trap, Brookhaven, and the street that I stayed on, the, the people that lived across the street mm -hmm. went to Brookhaven. That's how I be in the deck, though, with the districts. <laughs> I hate it. That's how I, that's I, how I hate be. it. We on the same that, street. How you go to Brookhaven and I go to Old Park? <laughs> that don't even make sense, bro. So that, yeah. that shit happened. So moving on to high school, okay, because we kind of, you know what I'm saying, going through. Mm -hmm. How many games until your ninth grade season did you play? Was you on varsity? Yeah, it was like I played like the first four or five games. And then after that, Coach Miles had moved me up. And it then, was time. And it was over after that. I so who was the man on varsity when you moved up? Uh, Cam Reedus. Shout out Cam Reedus. Shout out Cam Reedus. Reedus. He was nice. <laughs> he was nice. He was like, he was like that. He was like that. He was like so, that back so then. So Biscuit just left. Yeah, uh, Biscuit was. We had, they was in the same grade. So it was him and Biscuit. <laughs> oh, y'all yeah. was straight then. Yeah, we was hectic. They How went, far y'all went? I think we went to Wallace. My uh, my ninth grade. Yeah, we went to Wallace. My yeah. ninth and tenth grade. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, eleventh eleventh grade, I got hurt. And then I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. How was your tenth grade though? Tenth grade, I was, I was. That's when I really started. Like my people start kind of. That's when you they start noticing. Got you, like, got you, got you. They like, hold on, he he he, some. He some, right, yeah. right, right, Cause right. Was, Cause it was really off Cam and, and and Josh. They was really getting the like. They got they got us the pub. Yup. And once they came to the game, they started seeing me. They like, he he oh, got he something. something. He got some. Yeah. That's how I was too. Uh -huh. My ninth and tenth grade year, I had. Gerard Powers and Sam Burnthal, two NFL players. Well, yeah. Sam played for Bama, Gerard played. I mean, Sam Sam played for Bama, Gerard played for Auburn, went to the league. Then I had Rolando McClain on my team, too, which is yeah. my G classmate. Was with, G was with y'all, too. And, G uh, was with us, too. Our uh, team become legendary as the yeah. years go on. Yeah, like that. You I feel had, me? I had pieces. We had, had pieces, pieces, but when them lights cut on... Niggas wouldn't like that. It but really it's no disrespect. Yeah. But you know a little yeah, bit I, about that. We're we going to, we get... yeah, we're yeah. going to uh, dive into that too, Paul. <laughs> Got you. Got you. So, so, um, 11th grade year, you get hurt. How far into your 11th grade year? Uh, January at Tanner, I got hurt. And January. Then that, yeah, that's what a lot of folks don't even know. Like, yo. Yeah. That's really how kind of my story went, how it went. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as going to college. Right. Because, like, if they weren't for that, really, I probably would have went high D1, you know. From the beginning. From out the gate. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But, like, yeah, I told my Patella, I, I was out. I ain't come back to, like, June. And, you know, AU, that's that's really the last month. That's so a fact. Like, I that's was a just, fact. Like, so her majors and stuff started kind of coming in at the end. Right. In July, but I was like, nah, I really stuck with Troy because they had they was still talking to me throughout the whole time, whole still time. rocking with you, still we want, well, like, yeah, yeah, we want you. They was we, still with me. We we going okay, but put, keep that right there. Uh -huh. I want to talk about hold up, North South game junior year. Yeah, how was that? I killed it. I know. I, I, I was that. there. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm just asking you personally yeah. how it was because for me, um. I was playing against two of my AU teammates uh -huh. from Jeff Davis. They had just beat Austin in the final <laughs> four. No disrespect. Yeah. No disrespect, bro. No disrespect. <laughs> Shout out to Jay and Trap uh, and Taylor. But I had two teammates on my AU team playing against them in the North South game. Nigga had 35. Nigga had the, you know what I mean? Uh, MVP. Shared the MVP. But imagine this. Imagine um, your AU teammate. Hold up, bro. You played for South Eastern League? Yeah. <laughs> you did, too? That's crazy. I did my research, man. <laughs> this is okay, That's bro. Crazy. Okay, okay. That's crazy. I'm South East Elite my 11th grade year. Uh -huh. I'm Alabama Lazers, Nike, 10th grade. Yeah. That's what really got me. 9th grade, too. That's what really got me started. But getting back to what we said in the North-South game, how was that for you? Because I shared the MVP with one of my AU teammates. And had to get on the van with him after we left that night and go to Vegas, and yeah. it was smoke like it wasn't. <laughs> you feel me? Like that's yeah. that competitive. But talk yeah. to us about how that was for you. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. It was like we was like five deep. Uh, uh, my AU teammates though, the Alex at Reese, the time. Yeah, Alex Reese was there. He ended up going to Bama. Slap. Uh, Garrison Brooks. He went to North Carolina. Slap. 
And then uh, Jamal, he went to, I think he went to Memphis yep. out the gate. So it was like it was a couple of us already down there. Right, right, right. And so it was it was smoke. I I always like they probably still tell you to this day like they knew I was gonna be what I was or what I am right now. Then yeah, back then. Right, right, right. Like, they cause seen I'm, cause it. I'm killing them and they like all like going you know high high D ones, high D ones North Carolina. Yeah, yeah and it's like and I'm they know really, they like hold on he really he really called like it. You know, yeah, right, right, right. And they right. so they knew back then they would be telling me that now. You know what I'm saying? So like. It was just being, you know how it is, being from the deck, bro. It's hard to, you know what I'm saying? You slip on. You, know you slip go, on. Bro. You know how it go, bro. We so all it, playing. Yeah. You in Alabama. You yeah. ain't playing nobody. Uh-huh. It's I all was, all these little stuff that they be trying to make it factor into it. Right. To just make you seem like you ain't what you is. Facts. You know That's all it really be. So yeah. how did you, um, when did you get offered by Troy? And when did you decide to go to Troy and then go into your freshman year in Troy, yeah, right? Sure. Because hold up, no, I can't do that. My bad, no disrespect. Uh-huh. 2017? Yeah. That Austin team, bro, I got y'all, <laughs> I got y'all top three. I'm sorry, Dick, I, yeah. I got these niggas. <laughs> I, I got them top three. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Eric Allen, too. He shout was, out EA, man. Yeah, shout, shout out, out EA, EA man. man. Real, real one. Real one. Really? He was there every step of the way. Not saying yeah. nothing about that. Y'all had a great team, man. Shout out to Jason Scott. Shout out to my boy Fabe. Mm-hmm. Um, what was Who Big was? Man? Big Man. Big, big Man. Ant. Big Ant. Big Ant. Yeah, man. my dog. Big Shout Ant. Shout out to Big, <laughs> big Ant and my man who passed. Um, who, 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 who? No, I don't want to uh, say. Marcus Gould? Yeah. Yeah, he was with us the year before. So R.I.P. Marcus. R.I.P. Marcus, bro. R.I.P. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. for sure. For sure. Y'all had It'll a team, it. bro. Like, Jason to me was Tate or 2.0. I don't know if you ever seen Tate play. Folks be talking about him. I ain't never really seen him, but you know, Jason is, yes, he's Tate or 2.0. But y'all team, bro, that was crazy. Yeah, we were like, y'all had it all. It wouldn't, nothing y'all was lacking. Like, shout out to Cody, too, man. One of the biggest (laughs) turns. Shout out to Cody, man. Shout out to Cody Freeman, man. Yeah. But yeah, y'all talk about that. Y'all seen seen your run before we get into when you get off, when you got offered by Troy, Uh when you decided to sign or commit, and then, yeah. Yeah, so seeing you, we was, we was hectic. Yeah. Like, we had had a lot lot of pieces. Yeah. Uh, We went to the final four. And you know we ended up losing to Paul Bryant. Uh, you know, like you said, sometimes them lights, you know, <laughs> they get too bright. They, they get, get too bright for they niggas. They get bright, so you know, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. we didn't play to our best of our ability as a Fact. as a whole collective group. But, you know, Your coach is who? You at Miles? Coach Miles, Jake Miles, Coach Jake Miles, Jake Miles man, man. a My legend. Dog. His pops too. Uh-huh. But yeah, bro. So how, when did you when did you get offered by Troy? Uh, they offered me my 10th grade year. Oh, that was... Oh, yeah. my bad, bro. My bad, my bad. Yeah. When you decided to uh, commit? Yeah, I committed before uh, my senior year. My, everybody, Coach Miles, and everybody wanted me to wait till after my senior year. He was they, like, nah, they stuck with me. Yeah. Loyalty. I'm like, man, yeah, I'm like, I'm rocking right. with them. Right. And at that time, like, I just felt like I could go to the league from Troy. I'm like, man, I'm just going to go kill. And just, just it's going to take care of itself. Yeah. Yeah, I believe in that, bro. But I, like, as I got older, I realized, oh, it's politics in this game. Like, this ain't no fair game just being played. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's about, like, where you where, where you hooping at? Like, what school you coming from type shit. So, like. Even <laughs> despite the fact that you killing, it's still a bit more than that. It, yeah. It's a little bit more than that, bro. What, what, the question of the, the question of the hour, why did you leave? Why I leave, Troy? Uh, uh, my coach had left. I was gonna leave regardless, but my coach leaving made me like gone. Why was you gonna leave regardless? Cause I wanted to level up. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I wanted to smoke yeah. really. Like I wanted to smoke. That's this that, ain't that's enough. Something. Yeah, it's that's cool. Something. Yeah, that's some. I was like, I'm like, nah, I'm killing them. Yeah, like I can, I can, like I'm killing the best player on our team. It just was the fact that he was just like three years older than me. Right. So I'm like, and he had already been killing. Right before I got there. Right. So it was like the they were just his. That was his shit. So mm-hmm. like, I'm like I'm seeing. I'm like nah. Then he, I can I can really go to another level and and do somewhere the same, else in a better situation. Uh huh. So you you um start damn near every game except three or four games. Mm-hmm. Same same shit. You feel me? I already been through that. Um, you average ten. 
Mm-hmm. Now, I, I did my talking about Iowa State. No, no, no. Uh, Troy. In Troy. Yeah. You average 10. I did my research, brother. You, yeah. You, <laughs> average, you, you feel me? I'm not saying like that. I'm saying like I'm telling you I'm knowing what happened. Uh-huh. Uh, so you leave for a better situation. Mm-hmm. For a better situation. That make total sense. Yeah. Total sense. So we get to Iowa State. Yeah. You played 10 games the first year, right? Yeah. Why you don't play 10 games the first year? You came second semester. Oh, at Iowa State? Yeah. No, nah, I played I played 22 games. I just only the only reason I played 22 games cuz COVID. Cuz of COVID. Yeah, we only played I think 24 games or something. And and, and all, you was there for 2 years. Yeah. I, the first year I had to sit out cuz you know back uh, back then they wouldn't let folks like transfer and just play. No transfer portal. Yeah, like it like you had to transfer and sit out unless you got a waiver. They tried to give me a waiver, but I I couldn't get one. Listen. Y'all listen. Yeah. With no transfer portal, bro. Yeah. Same reason why I went JUCO. Uh-huh. Not because I had to, because it to me it made more sense. It's like, yeah, yeah I played my freshman year, but I still got Paul's more to give. I ain't yeah. play enough. So I you went from Alabama and then to Miami Juco? Day. I went JUCO, but I went to the number two JUCO in the country uh-huh. with seven other D1 prospects. Yeah. So it's different. It's not me. No disrespect. Levels. It's levels. It's yeah. not me going to gas and state. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't Levels. no disrespect at all, bro. <laughs> and, and I didn't nah, have to. Levels. I was actually going to Kansas straight after Alabama, but I didn't want to sit out a year. Yeah. I play. I started at Bama, but I didn't really play. You yeah. starting me, so the boosters and people won't say nothing to you, uh-huh. but I'm playing the first 10 to 12 minutes and then I don't play no more, J-Mo. Yeah. Oh, that's how he was trying to play it? Because he was going to get fired. Uh, and he needed somebody because he already knew the upper class and was leaving. Yeah. We had three league niggas on our team already. Yeah. Shout out to Richard Hendricks from Athens. Oh, yeah. You feel me? He this is my four man. He a legend. He a legend. Yeah. He's my McDonald's All-American, number four player in the country. Yeah. From, from Athens. From Athens. Don't from shit. Athens. <laughs> you feel me? Don't so shit. I got to plug this in for two years. No. Three. No, two two years. Uh-huh. My ninth and tenth grade year. Yeah. Not even about that. I'm just saying, like, my story, not saying to get on my situation, not not saying nothing about that at all, bro. I'm just telling you I can relate. Uh-huh. You feel me? So you going there, okay. How did you pick Iowa State though? Yeah. Like once how again, did you how did that once again it was a relationship type thing? Like yeah. I'm so I'm so like I'm I'm like I, I I take loyalty seriously, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like even my people around me right now to this day like been around me since I was in middle school. Right. You know what I'm saying? All my friends, everything. I noticed it though. Yeah. You still rock with the same people the same, who was there from day one. The same folks. Yeah. Like I take that serious. So yeah. like, James Kane, he uh he was at Murray State when I was coming out of high school. And so yeah. he was one I, that's what it was, it was between Murray State and Troy coming out of high school. Okay. And so he was he was at Murray State, and then he went from Murray State to uh Iowa State. Gotcha. And so I was like I was about to go to Houston from uh, Troy, yeah. But he was at Iowa State, and I took the. I, I had a visit to Iowa State, then I had Houston the next weekend. But I went to Iowa State. I just fell in love with it. Right, right, from and the then, jump, yeah. from the jump. And this, yeah. was my, this is my dog, like Coach Kane. So like, I'm like, I'm rocking with you, bro. Like, I'm just, right. I'm, I'm pulling up. Loyalty, you know what I'm yeah. Loyalty type Loyalty. shit. So you enjoyed your time at Iowa State? You loved it. Loved, loved it. it. Yeah, it was it, it grew me as a person too, cause I had to sit out that year. So it just made me just like, And I remember talking to you during that time, you sending me videos, telling me, Hey yeah. bro, this is going on. Yeah. I got this nigga in front of me finna go to the league. Yeah. And Tyrese pr- Halliburton. That's yeah. that's crazy. Like now he uh, now he a, a, a five hundred million dollar guy. Come on, you know what I'm bro, which is crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's a fact, bro. See, that's why I like I respect your story so much because your story is so significant. Uh-huh. Like mine is wicked, but yeah. yours is on a whole different level. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on that yeah. a lot of people don't know, which is why we're here now on the Wildlife Podcast. Uh-huh. So, okay, the decision, but you had to leave Iowa State though. Nah. You didn't? Nah, my coach, the coach that came there, he actually wanted me to stay on guard. I just, I, I wanted to leave because of the, the, like I seen, I stayed while he was there for like, Two months. Yeah, and, and then just, you and decided just, to leave. Yeah, and then I just seen what he was on. I'm like, nah, bro. I ain't. I I just talked to him. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no other option. I'm like, where I'm from, this only this. I gotta get to the league. I gotta get you to the league. It ain't like, no. Yeah, that's yeah, a fact. This ain't no like. I'm trying to just 
You know what I'm saying? Just because I played here. No, 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 sir. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the A. No, sir. You feel me? I'm trying to get to the A. You got me. No, no, sir. Cuz had me bent. Much respect to him, but Cuz had me bent. I wasn't going. And I just, like, I was just like, bro, I'm finna hit the portal. Like, and that's just what it was. That's just what it was. Yeah. So, and then you started there the whole time. Yeah, I yeah, started, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't like like it was a too big of a level enough for me. Like I was killing that too. Yeah, I, I yeah. know, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You started there too. Uh-huh. You um. So how the hell did you get to the park? Hold up. First yeah. of all, shout out my man T T Crump. Yeah, man. that's that's the reason. T T Crump, man. T T right? Crump, <laughs> man. Top five in the deck of all time. T T Crump. No so how did so so no tell me how y'all no how that happened? Cause yeah. that's my boy, boy. Like, you wanna know what's crazy? I yeah. didn't even know. I ain't even know Crump before then. I know you didn't. That's why know. I'm asking you. Yeah, I know I you didn't. I ain't even know Crump, bro. Yeah. Like, I put my name in the portal, and Coach Stubblefield, the coach, he was the head coach at the time. At the like, time, he, he yeah. hit me like, my, my my name hit the portal like 20 minutes later. He called me. He blowing me up. He like, man, I got this opportunity for you at DePaul, da 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 da. I'm like, I ain't DePaul. I ain't never, you know, I'm from Alabama. No, I ain't yeah, never heard of DePaul. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, shit, I ain't, I ain't know. Shot town. Yeah, but yep. I, I, I got the, I took a visit down there. I was looking into it. And I'm like, this could be a good situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? At the time, oh. I was still at uh, Iowa State, and cause I, I transferred like in the middle of the year. Oh, like you I, did? Yeah, that's why I couldn't even play. I only played ten games my first year at DePaul. So it was the Paul the ten games. Yeah. My bad. I apologize. That's when you first got to the ball. Yeah. You only played the ten games, uh-huh. and you started three. Yeah. Started three games. Yeah. Me, that's research. actually really if you coming to you coming to a, a D, second semester. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, D one though. Yeah, you know D1. what I'm saying? That's I, a fact. Listen, I came in and That's killed. That's a fact. I came, I came and then, bro. I was at I was at Iowa State, bro. Niggas don't even know this, bro. I'm working yeah. out. I'm just working out at the Rick. Right, I'm just right. pulling up, killing the Rick. Mm-hmm. Like at Iowa State, cause I I ain't had no like I couldn't go to like cause of the time and when I transferred, cause like I said, they wanted me to stay, so I'm just right. I'm just I stayed for a couple months. Right. School had already started. Gotcha. So by like the time I wanted to transfer, like I was gonna have to sit out of here. I'm like, man, I still. I'm like, fuck it, I still, I'm still gonna leave. Cause like, I, like I said, bro, I gotta go leave. This, yeah. this is my only chance. This is my only chance. You know I gotta go saying? leave. So I, I gotta dip. I gotta so dip. Still, I'm still like, I had two years left. So I'm like, man, I'm out. Yo. Yeah, so I'm, I'm at Iowa State, bro. I'm just killing the wreck. I'm going to the wreck every day. That's how, I, that's how I would get ready for my season. Killing. Folks don't even know that, bro. I'm in here like LeBron. Yeah, I'm killing. <laughs> I'm going, I'm pulling up to the wreck, and I'm, and I'm working out early in the morning. I'm getting up on my own. I'm just going to work myself. Work out, yep, yep. And that's what I used to do here in the deck. Oh, like, I, I know. Go you a gym out. rat. That's the difference. You remind me of uh, P Man, Parent uh-huh. Beef. Shout out P Man. Shout out P Man. Shout out P Man. Shout out P Man. That's no a cap. fact, bro. He a go to. No cap. Uh, you remind me of P Man and J Sears. Uh huh. Because y'all had the talent, but y'all becoming gym rats is what ele- elevated you. Yeah. Right. So, in our world, Javo, I went to two D ones. You went to three. Like we talked about off camera. Uh huh. Niggas fight to get the one. Yeah, just the one. Just to get one off. Just you know one. Mm-hmm. It could be AM. Yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. Just, it's just one, right? Yeah. Uh so especially, especially here. That's a, especially you know here. Saying? So what I'm saying is the appreciation of like um how can I put this? What what do it mean to you as far as like okay, appreciative, like? Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Like I did oh, it yeah. three times. Yeah. Not and I'm not saying you don't take it for granted, because if you did, you wouldn't be where you at right now. Uh-huh. Right? So it's like to do it three if you if you had to say something to a kid who's trying to get there for the first time, yeah. what would you say from somebody who's been there 